Gone, that's a poor shot. He escaped earlier in the over from a loose drive, but Rabada has him now. South Africa strike early. You can see with the grip on the seam, he wants to shape it back in, but this one just holding its line and Lees not really sure which way the ball is going. He didn't set up for one or the other and pretty loose. And that first wicket is down, six for one. Wow. Crawley again looking leg side, too much so. Yeah! Superb. It was a matter of time, it really was. A prod from Crawley, an excellent diving catch from Markram. And this time he does find the outside edge, not only finds the edge, but it goes into the slip cord and scrambled seam, so it doesn't swing nearly as much. But also an important catch. Catching will be so vital as this series goes on. It's the first opportunity for the slip cordon. And that's full up. And that has moved. He's given him. He has given him. Nitin Menon thinks it's straight enough. Yeah, no surprise. We will uh, review. Running through. Uh, there's a clear gap there, no bet involved. You can go to ball tracking when available. Here we go, Nitin. Pitching in line, impacts in line. Yes. Wicket to some pie is cool. We'll get you back on screen. You can stay with your original decision of out. Well, you can understand the decision you can on the field now. for sure. The ball was fuller than the one that hit Pope. Joe Root committed himself to the front foot and got a little bit the wrong side of the ball. It was lavish movement again. It's just going to clip leg stump. What a good shot from Ollie Pope. He's unfurled a couple. And that's a lovely drive through point. And again, emphatic. Back cut for four. And the Keir has just given him a few little gifts there. A delivery two full and one with a bit of width. Brings up the 50. 50 for three. Gone straight through him. The pace of North Keir. He finally gets the radar right. And he's castled Johnny Bairstow. It's the angle in, it's the swing, it's the shape, and straight through Johnny Bairstow's defences. That is spot on by Nokia, it's spot on by South Africa. Right in the ascendancy now, our South Africa. Up and over. Bit of width, bit of bounce, and Pope has been leaping on any opportunity to score. Well, the first one is glorious, the second one is just as good. Firm stroke by Stokes, who, when he stands still and plays orthodox shots, looks in real control, actually. He's had a couple of lovely drives down the ground from Janssen, and this one off Rabada just as good. That's nicer, though. Forget about the edge to Peterson. Have a look at that cover drive to bring up your half century. Well played, Ollie Pope. Oh, Stokes flashes at one. And another one goes through the cordon. Oh. It's going to be challenging for the last ball, particularly when you get it in the right area. What a way to finish off the first session for South Africa. Well, it's a perfect end to a good session for South Africa. This is a terrific oh, delivery oh, from Norkir. He's round the wicket, but holding the ball down the slope and therefore turning Stokes around on the back foot, looking to work it slightly to leg. Yeah! Got him! Yeah, it's good again from Norkir. It's quick, it's fast in this dim hard to pick up light he's got his areas right and it was just too good for ben folks he's looking as though it might have kept a bit low i don't know if it did or whether he just didn't pick up the ball as well as he would have liked just quickly onto that ollie pope what a delivery oh yes 
Oh, no. Oh, no. He had three or four goes at it. High quality. And the line of Rabada counts for Pope. It was in that channel again. Oh, got him. Got him. It was uh, pretty anticlimactic in the end. Stuart Broad, for the first time, not really following through with the stroke. It was a, an excellent piece of bowling. Deception from Rabada, the slower ball. Got him this time. That off stump just flattened by Marco Janssen. So Leach's innings is done in the most spectacular fashion. Given him! And that is five for Kagiso Rabada. And he has absolutely deserved that. He has bowled superbly from the moment that he took up the new ball yesterday, right through to the last Trick man, Jimmy Anderson, who's just been given out. LBW. He's bowled superbly. Is out. I'll check the front foot at speed level. We can go to front on when available. Thank you. Uh, looks like there's no bet. We'll just double check it with Ultra to when available. Thank you. Flat line through the pad. Full track when ready, thanks. Here you go, Ellie. Pitching in line, impact in line, wickets hitting. We'll get you back on screen. You can start with your original session of outs. That's a lovely drive. If you're hitting it straight through mid on as a left hander, you are in the game, you're in business, you're in good shape. Clipped away. That's a comfortable boundary to get the account of Ervier up and running. Oh, yeah, that's cut him in half. Is it the first of the day? It is for Stuart Broad, his first, but also his hundredth at Lords. Uh, just roll that back there. Uh, looks like a gap. We'll just confirm that with Old Bridge, please. Running through, running through. Keep going through the pad. Okay, uh, there's no band bar. We'll just check the LBW. Uh, the original session goes back to not out. Just when it's ready. Pitching in line, impact in line. Wicket's missing. We'll go back to Elyon Field. Richard will get you to change your decision to not out. Outside his crease as he faces up, negates movement and finds the fence square. Oh, that's going to be another boundary. Stokes will sprint after it, but that's going to be a sprint in vain. Watched it as it trailed on, couldn't get a boot to it, couldn't get a bat to it. And the opening partnership comes to an end. Another one that tails in. That's the kind of way you'd like to dream about getting off the market, Lords. Driven safely, driven square, driven for four. Edged and gone. Johnny Bairstow with the arms aloft. Matthew Potts has persevered from the nursery end. Well, that's a, a good example of a cover drive from Aidan Markram. Lovely, real flourish from Markram. Looked like an attempted in-swinger from Anderson. He was pushing it on a full driving length to find that swing, but it was met with the full blade from Markram. Ah! Leach, 
Yeah, this is beautiful bowling from Jack Leach. Go, go. Finds the gap. It was a little shorter this time from Leach. Cut. And it's the sweep shot he's looking for because that area is vacant and he brings up four. Oh, that's a brute. Folks, gone. The plan has worked, and that is fantastic from England's captain. Maybe, maybe Stokes has done it again. Running through. Appears to be no bet. Can we just check that with Altridge when we're ready? Uh, flat line, flat line through to the pad, please. Uh, no bet. Ball tracking when available. Nitton is pitching outside, impacts in line, wickets hitting. Where you're back on screen, you can stay with the original decision of out. Got him! Oh, that's a beauty! Flayed away through point. The second boundary of the over. And this is a nice little partnership brewing for South Africa. In the air and through. For a split second, I thought the crowd thought the shift to the nursery end might have just worked for Jimmy Anderson. Oh, hello. <laughs> a four through the on offside, followed by one through the on. Hands went from low to high. And for a moment, <laughs> Janssen was thinking, get there, get there. But it clears it comfortably. Well, he's gone backward a square for the first one. He's pumped it straight down the ground for the next one and gets there. It's one of the nicest ones from Mirage today. No, backs into it and gets him. Potts with the catch, Stokes with the wicket. And the innings of Maharaj comes to an end. Change of approach. Gone. Yes. Goes up and goes over. No, he hasn't. He hasn't. I'm looking to the boundary line. Stuart Broad has taken one of the catches at Lords. No one can believe it. It's up, running, running, full stretch. No, can't do a Broad. Yeah, that's a really nice shot from Nokia. He was on field, uh, an on-drive here of which many top-order batsmen would be proud. Well, Janssen is having a, a really good all-round game. A couple of wickets with the ball and a key one of Joe Root now finds himself two away from a half-century. And that will do. He won't get to the half-century. It's a rather tame and timid end, actually, but it comes... From a full-length ball, England have changed their ploy, changed the policy, started to pitch the ball up, and that has done for Marco Janssen. Oh! Has he taken it? I think he has. It's Bairstow, who initially made a right hash of what looked like a simple chance, and then brilliantly took the rebound. Uh, it looked like an absolute howler for a moment there. Simple as it comes, just above waist high, and that is very good reflexes. That's outstanding from Johnny Bairstow. Yep. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. They're about a little bit too short, carrying on with that length from his first over. And that's a really nice punch off the back foot by Lees. It'll do him a world of good in terms of confidence. Out. Yeah. Surely, yeah, gone. It makes no difference. Seamer, spinner, 
Zach Crawley's misery continues, and it really must be time now for uh, the selectors to think about putting him out of his misery. Oh, yeah! oh he's nipped it down the hill as uh, Sean Pollock talked about. Appears to be no bet. Quiz confirmed that with Altridge. Running through to the pet. Uh, no bet involved, just ball tracking when available. Ellie pitching in line, impacts in line. Wickets hitting. We'll get you back on screen. I'll get you to change your decision to out. South Africa. Ngidi gets his first of the test and could it get any bigger than Joe Root? That's nicely played. Not the best delivery from Nokia. And that's nicely played. A little bit of width. It wasn't that bad a delivery from Nokia. He kicks the ground in disgust that it's gone to the boundary. Got the edge, that is the wicket that South Africa were after. Nokia and the captain are ecstatic. Edge gone, he's done it again. Nokia is putting South Africa in a terrific position to win the game today. Edge says he has a soft dismissal. South Africa and Norkia are running right. Oh. Cleverly played. Opened the face. Timed beautifully. Boundary for England's captain. Oh. Hey, hey. Former left arm spinner. Umpire Rillingworth. Not interested. Will they have a look upstairs? Yes. Uh, just roll that back, looks like it's missed everything. Just go back near the gloves. Roll again. Yeah, clearly no bat and ball. You can go to ball trick when available, please. Richard, it is pitching outside off, impact in line. Wickets, this umpire's call. Cool. We'll get you back on screen. And you can start with the original decision of not out. Carved away, broad backing away, and has flayed that to the fence to bring up England's 100. We didn't know much about that. It was the no look hook, and it's gone miles. Oh, chance. A tough one. Absolutely drilled back at him. Oh, no. it stumps again. It should be taken, and it is. Change of pace. The smarts from Rabada. Tinoga, where is it? It's in your hands. And you've got seven. Yeah! Through the defences, Janssen gets his first in the second innings. And South Africa edge closer to a historic win at Lords. Well, England are eight down and still trailing by 15, and South Africa sniffing a famous win. Nine down now. Stokes has hammered Rabada into the leg side, but picked out Maharaj in the deep, who can do no wrong. In And South Africa have a thumping victory here at Lords. It's Marco Janssen, the six foot eight beam pole, that has finished things off by sending a Yorker into the base of Jimmy Anderson's off stump. But this has been a team effort by South Africa. 
A comprehensive victory, an excellent all-round performance, and a victory that has come in two and a half days. England, a lot of thinking to do.